An essential amino acid or indispensable amino acid is an amino acid that cannot be synthesized de novo by the organism being considered, and therefore must be supplied in its diet. The nine amino acids humans cannot synthesize are phenylalanine, valine, threonine, tryptophan, methanine, leucine, isoleucine, lysine, and histidine. Six amino acids are considered conditionally essential in the human diet, meaning their synthesis can be limited under special pathophysiological conditions, such as prematurity in the infant or individuals in severe catabolic distress. These six are arginine, cysteine, glycine, glutamine, proline and tyrosine. Five amino acids are dispensable in humans, meaning they can be synthesized in the body. These five are alanine, aspartic acid, asparagine, glutamic acid and serine. Essentiality versus conditional essentiality in humans, essential only in certain cases. Pyrrolysine, sometimes considered the 22nd amino acid, is not listed here as it is not used by humans. Eukaryotes can synthesize some of the amino acids from other substrates. Consequently, only a subset of the amino acids used in protein synthesis are essential nutrients. Minimum daily intake. Estimating the daily requirement for the indispensable amino acids has proven to be difficult. These numbers have undergone considerable revision over the last 20 years. The following table lists the WHO recommended daily amounts currently in use for essential amino acids in adult humans, together with their standard one-letter abbreviations. Food sources are identified based on the USDA National Nutrient Database release. The recommended daily intakes for children aged 3 years and older is 10% to 20% higher than adult levels and those for infants can be as much as 150% higher in the first year of life. Cystian, tyrosine, and arginine are always required by infants and growing children. Relative amino acid composition of protein sources, because of the obvious difference in the nutritional value of cean versus casein in rat nutrition, various attempts have been made to express the quality, or value of various kinds of protein. Measures include the biological value, net protein utilization, protein efficiency ratio protein digestibility corrected amino acid score and complete protein concept. These concepts are important in the livestock industry, because the relative lack of one or more of the essential amino acids in animal feeds would have a limiting effect on growth and thus on feed conversion ratio. Thus, various feedstuffs may be fed in combination to increase net protein utilization, or a supplement of an individual amino acid can be added to the feed. Although proteins from plant sources tend to have a relatively low biological value, in comparison to protein from eggs or milk, they are nevertheless complete in that they contain at least trace amounts of all of the amino acids that are essential in human nutrition. Eating various plant foods in combination can provide a protein of higher biological value. Certain native combinations of foods, such as corn and beans, soybeans and rice, or red beans and rice, contain the essential amino acids necessary for humans in adequate amounts. Complete proteins in non-human animals, scientists had known since the early 20th century that rats could not survive on a diet whose only protein source was zein, which comes from maize, but recovered if they were fed casein from cow's milk. This led William Cumming Rose to the discovery of the essential amino acid 309. Through manipulation of rodent diets, Rose was able to show that 10 amino acids are essential for rats, lysine, tryptophan, histidine, phenylalanine, leucine, isoleucine, methanine, valine, and arginine, in addition to 309. Rose's later work showed that 8 amino acids are essential for adult human beings, with histidine also being essential for infants. Longer-term studies established histidine is also essential for adult humans. Interchangeability, the distinction between essential and non-essential amino acids is somewhat unclear, as some amino acids can be produced from others. The sulfur-containing amino acids, methanine and homocysteine, can be converted into each other but neither can be synthesized de novo in humans. Likewise, cysteine can be made from homocysteine but cannot be synthesized on its own. So, for convenience, 
Sulfur containing amino acids are sometimes considered a single pool of nutritionally equivalent amino acids as are the aromatic amino acid pair, phenylalanine and tyrosine. Likewise arginine, ornithine, and citrulin, which are interconvertible by the urea cycle, are considered a single group. Effects of deficiency If one of the non-essential proteins is less than needed for an individual the utilization of other amino acids will be hindered and thus protein synthesis will be less than what it usually is, even in the presence of adequate total nitrogen intake. Protein deficiency has been shown to affect all of the body's organs and many of its systems, including the brain and brain function of infants and young children. The immune system, thus elevating risk of infection. Gut mucosal function and permeability, which affects absorption and vulnerability to systemic disease. And kidney function. A physical signs of protein deficiency include edema, failure to thrive in infants and children, poor musculature, dull skin, and thin and fragile hair. Biochemical changes reflecting protein deficiency include low serum albumin and low serum transferrin. The amino acids that are essential in the human diet were established in a series of experiments led by William Cumming Rose. The experiments involved elemental diets to healthy male graduate students. These diets consisted of corn starch, sucrose, butterfat without protein, corn oil, inorganic salts, the known vitamins, a large brown candy made of liver extract flavored with peppermint oil, and mixtures of highly purified individual amino acids. The main outcome measure was nitrogen balance. Rose noted that the symptoms of nervousness, exhaustion, and dizziness were encountered to a greater or lesser extent whenever human subjects were deprived of an essential amino acid. Essential amino acid deficiency should be distinguished from protein energy malnutrition, which can manifest as marasmus or quashiorquil. Quashiorquil was once attributed to pure protein deficiency in individuals who were consuming enough calories. However, this theory has been challenged by the finding that there is no difference in the diets of children developing marasmus as opposed to quashiorquil. Still, for instance in DRIs maintained by the USDA, lack of one or more of the essential amino acids is described as protein energy malnutrition. Mnemonics, using the one-letter designation shown above, mnemonic devices have been developed for use in memorizing the essential amino acids. Previous devices have utilized the first letter of the amino acids names, and in general did not include arginine which is not always essential. Mnemonic devices in common use are private TIM Hall and TT Hall V, ERI, IMP, Autant. Another method uses the first letter of each essential amino acid to begin each word in a phrase, such as, any help in learning these little molecules proves truly valuable. This method begins with the two amino acids that need some qualifications as to their requirements. See also, biological value, complete protein, edible protein per unit area of land, essential fatty acid, essential genes, essential nutrient, list of standard amino acids, low protein diet, automolecular medicine, protein digestibility corrected amino acid score, references. External links. Amino acid content of some vegetarian foods at veganhealth.org. Amino acid profiles of some common feeds at Virginia Tech. Molecular expressions, the amino acid collection at Florida State University. Features detailed information and crystal photographs of each amino acid. V-Protein, an online software tool to analyze the essential amino acid profiles of single and pairs of plant-based foods based on human requirements.